Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. Well, there's always a motorbike in the background of my video, joys of living on the main road. Oh no, Jesus, is my top okay? Got my earrings in, got my necklace in, got my makeup on, got my tan on. Just all the way sun-kissed today, like a sun-kissed tan, sun-kissed makeup with a little glow, do you know what I mean guys? Honestly, I'm just talking crap as always. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on how to pass your theory and hazard perception test, is that how you say it? Hazard percep perception, is it? Yeah, and um, well I'm going to be doing a video, um, like I'm basically how to pass these two, because I struggled to pass my theory test and I thought that I will kind of give you guys some tips like on how to pass and how like to learn everything quickly so if you are interested in that then let's go on the video. So basically if you guys don't know what the theory test is and um, basically um, like it's where you have to answer like a lot of questions and go like into this building in these kind of like booths and like basically like there's a computer in front of you and you have to um, answer like all the questions and I think it's um there's 75 theory questions all together and I think you maybe have to get oh was it like a fit a 50 out of 75 like it changes all the time I think but um like it's around the 50 mark I think so like it is quite a high mark but um like it is achievable to get it and the hazard perception test is basically where it's like a video of you driving the car and like you've got to click on all like the different hazards like in the video so for example someone walking out in the street a cyclist or like a car pulling out of you and basically you have to click um up to five times on the screen to um uh, get the marks and if like you click on the hazard at the right time you're more likely to get more marks this feels like ages ago for me so like i'm kind of trying to remember everything because i think i've done my theory test i think i maybe done it was it in july so it's been about, I'm trying to think, so in a, June, I very much, April, May, so basically nine months ago, but um, first time I failed was because um, like I clicked like on the hazard perception too fast and then like it um, made me get no marks on that one in particular. But yeah, but basically for my birthday, I got um, this pack thing, basically came with like a young emergency driver checklist, road signs, and a high rate code and this was all like like online so it was like ebooks and um, you could download it like on your phone your laptop your ipad and, and then like um you could answer like the theory questions it also came with l plates for your car as well which is quite cool but i never used the ebooks just because i'm more of like a practical learner and i like to learn by doing quizzes and kind of like stuff like that this pack is really good for like every type of learner so if you are someone who likes to read and like you learn through reading books that be like the ebooks will be perfect and if you are a more of like a practical person you will be probably better at answering all like the theory questions on there like i will say that some of the theory questions can be quite similar i think there's maybe four boxes and one of them is correct obviously and some of them can be worded really similar so when like you're doing your theory test just read all the questions slowly and um, thoroughly and you'll probably pass like and um, like the pretty straight forward questions like and also here's a time limit of an hour i think on the theory test but that's plenty of time most people learn you should finish it in about 20 minutes half an hour anyway the theory test um has questions like um how would you react if you seen a child in the walk like in the road what um would you do like if you've got a flat tyre, basically questions like that and like it's common sense really for most people what would you do in that situation like if you had a flat tyre you'd pull over on the side of the road and and like call um, like a person off the road do you know what I mean like it's quite easy questions like that theory test isn't as like scary as people make out it to be like it is pretty alright and all the people are really nice um, like in the theory test place anyway for the hazard perception test um, you need to react quickly so if you see um like a hazard developing click on it because then like you probably get um, more marks and like it'll make and um, like it'll make it easier for you to pass your 
has a perception test because I think there's maybe around 50 marks on the hazard test and then I think there's 75 marks on the theory test and personally I found the hazard test harder just because everything seemed to happen really quickly in the videos so like you always need to be alert and aware of everything like around you like in the video because um, you could see one hazard that could only be like a little uh, minor hazard and then like the major hazard could be afterwards and you've clicked too many times and that means that you'd failed the test but I'm um, always just keep an eye out on the hazard perception test because it can catch you out and things can happen very quickly on there um, you can buy this pack online or from house different places like that and honestly it really helped me and um, like you can get the UV test apps on the app store but um, personally I've never tried them but if you are wanting like the whole lot of things like the books and everything definitely get this pack because it like it will be really good and you'll will learn a lot um, through it. I'm trying to think of what else it could be because like uh, like it's been ages since I've done my test and on the day of like your theory test you'll walk in and then I think you give the person your um I did have a blank moment and um, you give the, you give the theory test person your provisional license I think and maybe you're like um, oh what else, oh, oh my god this, honestly I'm literally having a blank moment in this video today, I'm, on, I'm, I'm having too many and uh, maybe you drive a number as well I think, so always remember to bring those to and uh, maybe your passport um, actually as well, honestly like it feels like ages ago since I've done it but um, like you'll walk in and like you'll give like all like your details and like and whatever like you need to give them and then you'll probably wait in like a waiting room for like a little bit and then they'll, and they'll call your name and then they'll sit you down in like a specific booth and then like you'll answer all the questions and then do the hazard test and then um, you won't find out what you've got until um, you go back to the desk and then they'll hand you like a piece of paper and then you can either see like if you failed a pass and then you walk out and just say goodbye and then yeah I definitely do recommend practicing every day for like an hour because it will and really pay off because sometimes like the questions can change and then you might forget some because like there are there could be around 200 questions like there's two like and uh, um, it's probably like it's probably um like over 200 different questions and you try to learn most of them and kind of try to recognize them in your head you're more likely of passing because like um, you've been revising like all the questions you know with the hazard test and um, like it is probably harder to revise for that just because like all the clips are different and like you probably won't see the same clip in the video um, so that's one thing that is bad about the um, hazard test but overall you just um, need to think that the hazard test is um, like it's basically common sense and, and like it's just um, how you would react in like those situations and always remember safety first safety is always key in driving safety responsibility are the two things when driving and um, so like always remember like what is the safest option and then you'll probably like you probably get all the, like all the questions right so guys this is the end of my video i really hope that it's helped you guys if it has make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys